Well, last week we bored the taper hole for the center of the hub to receive the boxing. But before we can press the boxing in, we need to put the final hub bands around these hubs. Otherwise, when we press the boxing in, it would just split the hub. These have fairly heavy hub bands. The ones up against the spokes are 3 8 by 2, and the outer ones are 3 8 by 2 and a half and 3 8 by 3 and a half. So this is the process of rolling, sizing, and setting these heavy hub bands on the Borax water wagon hubs. Now I like to purposely roll these a little undersize. It's a lot easier to open them up than it is to readjust this roller to make them smaller.
Now these end hub bands are particularly difficult to get to put on because they're going up against this sharp edge. So I'm double checking just to make sure that they are round. If they aren't, I'm going to run them back through the roller and kind of round them out a little bit. This, the hub bands up against the spokes aren't near so bad because they have a little taper to the shoulder that they can kind of self-adjust. But these end ones have to be pretty close. And they're even more particular when they're as heavy as these are, being 3 8 thick. I want these irons to be kind of a flat black. So I'm going to take some used engine oil and I'm going to heat the irons up to 800-900 degrees and I'm going to dip them in this oil and it'll take on this flat black appearance that I like. Well, since these still have some heat in them, I'm going to take advantage of that. I'm going to add a little more. Go ahead and set them on.
Setting hub bands that are 3 8 thick is definitely more difficult than normal wagon hubs that are only a quarter inch. But I think we made it. Next week we'll go ahead and we'll press in the boxings and go from there. Thanks for watching.